I got this lovely order of toys and sort of things that I thought would work for a preschool environment for my son. Um, and I thought I would share them here in the video and it would be quite fun to unpack them on camera. So I'm just gonna, I have actually looked in this little bag already. And um, these are so cute. These here are the little Ambrosius figures. I thought these would be really cute as an addition to our seasonal table. This one's a little hazelnut fairy, really beautifully made. And this one's just a lovely little gnome. They're pretty sturdy. They're not really toys as such, unless your child's a little bit older, but they work really well on a seasonal table. So I got those. Okay, so let's open up this one. This is um, a decoration for our Grimm celebration ring. I thought a kite would be really appropriate for autumn and we're going to be decorating some kites as well. So I got this. Here I have some Stockmar watercolors for Rupert. The watercolor is a real, watercoloring is something which is really popular in the Waldorf tradition. And I got the three primary colors, so yellow, red, and blue. And he'll be working on that maybe once a week as a sort of fun activity. I also got some of these Play-Dohs. So these are the um, Oco Norm eco-friendly um, Play-Dohs and they come in primary colors and green as well. And these are for both the boys, uh, Toby as well as Rupert. And I've never tried these before, but I thought it'd be quite interesting to see what they're like. They don't have any sort of scent off them, which is quite nice. Um, the texture is really good and the colours are very pure. So I think the boys will enjoy playing with those. A nice little modelling activity for preschoolers. Next up is this little package here. Okay, so I also got some of these Holtz Tiger wooden play figures. So these are suitable for kids to play with. And we've got quite a few of these. This one is an owl. I thought this was quite appropriate for autumn. I also picked up the little mushroom, which I thought was so cute. And we'll probably add that to our little nature seasonal, seasonal nature table. And I also got a squirrel, which again, I thought would be really appropriate for autumn. So yeah, I got these three. They very in price about six pounds seven pounds is the average though and they're really chunky really well made um and great for kids to play with very tactile okay so another package to unwrap this is so much fun <laughs> So this is a piece of felt, as you can see, this is 100% wool felt. And this is going to be part of an activity that I'm gonna do for the kids where I'm gonna make them little felt peg um, doll gnomes. So this is for the gnomes hat. So I got some of this lovely sort of rusty orange red. Um, I'm really excited for this because I know what this is. This is a madder music box. And it comes with the little box like this and these two decorations which are actually spinning tops but you can slot them in like that. And I wanted a music box because I thought it'd be a really nice addition to story time. So. I thought that would be quite cute and just make story time a little bit more special. So I got that. Toby's now putting up the <laughs> tripod because he's heard the music. Um, okay, so let's move on to this package. Okay, so this is just a lovely little paintbrush for watercoloring. And um, this one is about two and a half centimeters in width. And it's got quite a short handle, which is great for younger kids. So I picked up that one for Rue, um, so he could just have a good quality brush for watercoloring. Now this I'm really excited for, this is a crayon holder. It's made out of just like wood. This one holds the wooden, um, this one holds the crayon blocks, which are like little rectangles. And this is just for the standard crayons. And we use the Stockmar crayons. So this will be really nice so he can see all the colors and access them really easily. So, okay, so in here 
I've got a couple of books. This is Pip the Gnome by Admar Quant and Pip and the Gnome and the Forest Feast and I think, I haven't looked at this fully but I looked at it online and I thought this would be really nice as a kind of autumnal book because it's all about the animals gathering all the um, nuts and seeds and berries and it's a really gentle story and I just love the sort of gnomes and the illustrations, I think it's just really cute. So we've got that. Then we also picked up the What's Hiding in There by Daniela Dresner. Um, this is by Floris Books and it's actually got quite a lot of flaps to lift as well. Um, really, really cute, beautiful illustrations which I think the kids will be really um, enthralled by. Uh, great colours, a beautiful owl, so really in keeping with the theme of autumn and the sort of nature work that we're going to be doing so i think this is beautiful in here i just have some watercolor paper i'm pretty sure that they have um only one type on the website but it's quite thick i haven't used it yet obviously so i can't tell you exactly how good quality it is but i do trust that myriad um would probably have a very very good quality watercolor paper and then the last thing in here is this big um, painting board. So this is actually just like a big piece of plastic, but it's for putting the watercolor paper on top. And then um, it just keeps your area, your wooden table or whatever you've got nice and safe and you don't end up damaging or warping it. I did hear that the wooden painting boards get warped quite easily. So that's why I went for a plastic one. So yeah, I'm really excited to show this to the kids, but just to run through it again, we've got the plastic uh, board for painting watercolor. I got the watercolor paper for the boy. I got the Stockmar watercolor paint for doing the watercolor. And I also got the little brush. I got the holder for the boys for the crayons when they're doing crayon work. Um, I got the three Holtz Tiger toys that sort of tie in with the autumnal things that we were talking about. The two books, um, the sweet little music box with the spinning tops, the eco play doh, the felt for peg dolls, um, and the little celebration kite. And then the two Ambrosius felt figures for our seasonal table. So I hope you enjoyed that quick unboxing. And um, if you've got any questions, leave them below and I'll try and answer them. I will definitely be filming a um, more in-depth video about how I'm going to use all these things. Give you peeks into our seasonal nature tables and that kind of thing. Um, and also show you some of the sort of guidebooks and curriculum books that I really, really enjoy for this age group. Um, like I said, I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, but my um, eldest son is three and a half. So this is sort of the things I think would be really appropriate for his age group. My youngest is 15 months old. So he'll enjoy the painting and the Play-Doh as well and enjoy playing with the Holtz Tiger figures. So yeah, that is our little haul. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and um, I will see you soon in another video.